Right guys, after every workout you need to stretch that body out because remember you're going to be doing some drills that's really hard, you're going to be working those muscles really hard so we need to stretch after every single workout. And then starting with the quads, we only do the major muscle groups, so for the quad stretches you are welcome to hold on to something, a wall, a chair, anything, and you're going to grab those toes and pull that leg or that heel up to your butt, keeping the knees together, back straight, and pull that belly button into your spine. Remember, remember to hold on. Grab that foot, those toes, pull the heel up to your butt. Make sure that your knee's not here because there's no stretch happening in that, that quad muscle. Make sure that you pull it right back. Right, we're going to be doing both sides and you're going to be holding those stretches for approximately 20 to 30 seconds. To stretch the calf muscles, you're going to be pushing against the wall, body straight, and then you're going to be taking a step back. Remember that the weight must be on the front foot and push the heel down at the back. You'll be holding that for approximately 20 to 30 seconds, then you're going to rock slightly back and bend that back knee, heel stays on the floor to stretch the Achilles tendon, and hold it for 20 to 30 seconds. Once you've done both sides, we need to stretch the hamstrings. For that, you need a cupboard or a chair or even a bed if it's high enough because we're going to be elevating those feet. Right, guys, so to stretch the hamstrings, you're going to be needing a cupboard or a chair where you can put your foot up really high and we're going to elevate that leg, get that heel on your cupboard. You can want that leg nice and straight, hips facing your toes, flex the foot and you're just going to lean into that hamstring muscle and hold the stretch for 20 to 30 seconds. Then once you've done that, we're going to bend that knee, getting a much deeper stretch higher up in the hamstring and we're going to lean forward, keep your back straight and just hold it there. And remember, once again, you want to do both sides. Hold the stretches 20 to 30 seconds. Once we've completed that, we're moving on to the next stretch. Right guys, so we've stretched the quads, the calves, and the hamstrings. We still need to stretch the glutes, okay, which is the big butt muscle. For that, you need to be seated on the floor. You can either have that leg straight, get the other one up and over, grab your left leg with your right arm, Pull it towards your chest, the knee towards your chest, and straighten out your back. Right, that's if you're very tight. If not, you're going to be bending that bottom leg. Get the top leg up and over. Grab, pull it to your chest, straighten the back. All right. And you're going to be doing both sides, holding those stretches for 20 to 30 minutes. All right. Once you've done that, we're going to go flat onto the floor, stretch those legs out, you're going to be putting your hands out to the sides, head on the floor, pull that knee up, grab your left knee with your right hand and pull it over and you're going to be keeping that left shoulder blade on the floor, stretching the glutes and the lower back. And once again, you want to be holding those stretches for 20 to 30 seconds and do both sides. Right guys, so we still have the back, the arms and the chest to stretch out. So to stretch the upper back, you're going to be grabbing your left thumb with your right hand, push those arms forward, keep them shoulder height and push the top of your back out and drop your head. And we're just going to keep pulling on that thumb and stretching. Halfway through, you're going to swap thumbs and pull. Right, and remember, we're holding it for 20 to 30 seconds. To stretch the chest, we can do it one of two ways. You're either going to get that hand on a wall, turn away from the wall, relax that shoulder, and just feel the nice stretch in that pec the pectoral muscles, the chest muscles, and we're going to hold it for 20 to 30 seconds, and you're going to do both sides. 
Alternatively, if you have a doorway, you can put both your arms up in the doorway. Elbows must be shoulder high. Take a step forward and just push. All right. To stretch the arms, you're going to grab that elbow, pull it across the chest and hold it. 20 to 30 seconds. Same arm, you're going to pull that elbow up towards your ear, pull it over. Remember, don't arch your back. You want to keep that back nice and straight and just keep pulling on that elbow. And once again, guys, you're going to do both sides, 20 to 30 seconds. And that's it.